Hello and welcome. My name is Matthias Schwendek. In this video, I introduce you to the window of tolerance and how to stay in and widen your window of tolerance with the somatic consent engagement system. If you'd like to know more, please stay tuned. The window of tolerance is a term to use and to describe the zone of arousal in which a person is able to function most efficiently. When a person is within the window of tolerance, the brain is functioning well and can effectively process stimuli. That person is likely to be able to reflect, think rationally and make choices and decisions calmly without feeling either overwhelmed or withdrawn and responds to the demands of everyday life without much difficulties. Within the window of tolerance, you are in your comfort zone, emotionally regulated, you're calm, cool, feel connected, collected and relaxed and have the ability to self-soothe and self-regulate emotional states. The stress of a traumatic event might have the effect of pushing a person out of their window of tolerance. People who have experienced a traumatic event might respond to stressors, even minor ones, with extreme hyper or hypoarousal. In this state of dysregulation, the nervous system responds with fear of abandonment and rejection, unconscious thoughts and bodily feelings, feelings of shame and guilt and feeling unsafe, not knowing of the option to make choices with trauma-related beliefs. As a result of this kind of experiences, we might come to believe the world is unsafe and might operate with a window of tolerance that has become more narrow or inflexible as a result. A narrow window of tolerance might cause people to perceive danger more readily and react to real and imagined threats with either a fight or flight or a freeze response. During times of extreme stress, hyperarousal is often characterized by hypervigilance with feelings of anxiety, panic, raising thoughts, being overwhelmed, chaotic responses, outbursts of emotional aggressiveness, anger, aggression and rage, obsessive compulsive behavior or thoughts, rigidity, addiction, impulsivity or overeating and restrictions. Hypoarousal or the freeze response might cause feelings of emotional numbness, emptiness or paralysis, faint death response, dissociation, not being present, being unavailable or shut down, with a memory loss, disconnected, being on autopilot and no display of emotions, feel flat, separation from self and feelings and emotions. It is possible for individuals who have become dysregulated to use certain tactics to return to their window of tolerance, like grounding techniques and mindfulness skills can often help people remain in the present moment. By noticing physical sensations, people are often able to remain in the present. Calming and soothing themselves enough to effectively manage themselves by extreme arousal. TRE, the Trauma Trauma Release Exercise, has been very effective here. Many individuals are able to widen their window of tolerance and, by doing so, increasing their sense of calm and become able to deal with stress in more adaptive ways. Many individuals are able to widen their window of tolerance and by doing so, they increase their sense of calmness and become able to deal with stress in a more adaptive way. To stay within the window of tolerance, we need to feel safe, to make choices for noticing what we want, valuing it, asking for it and being able to receive it. Recognize our limits, keeping clear boundaries by communicating yeses and noes, creating clear agreements based on time, space and action and changing our mind if we need. Here we can access stages for play, dance, work, sport, yoga, connection, intimacy, sensuality, pleasure, sexuality, rest and rejuvenation. This is the place where the somatic consent engagement system fits in as a tool of empowerment to create clear verbal agreements that establish a sense of safety and connection. In particular, it is about physical action 
and clear dynamics between giving and receiving, instead of being entangled in the correlated shadows, we are choose to step into a new paradigm of conscious relating through verbal consent. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment in the section below. For more information, please visit www.somaticconsent.com. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.